America is losing its place as the world's great economic superpower. That, according to a former Treasury Secretary, and a very well-known one at that, none other than Larry Summers, who writes in a new op-ed in the Washington Post. Summers writes, quote, the global economic architecture needs substantial adjustment. Political pressures from all sides in the United States have rendered that architecture increasingly dysfunctional. We're going to explain to you exactly what, what uh, Larry Summers means by that with Fox Business Network's Stuart Varney, who is here now. Stuart, welcome. Um, so he's saying the whole dynamic in the world is changing. Yes. Why? What have we done wrong, and who's okay. the benefactor? This is how it used to work. America used to dominate the World Bank and the IMF. If a government got into trouble and needed to borrow money, if they wanted to borrow money for a big new project, they went to the World Bank, the IMF, and they would fund it, and America would control that economy and control that project. That didn't take account of China's rising power, and China wanted into this power structure. America refused to let them in. So they go away and they start their own bank. It is called the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, run by China. We tried to persuade our allies, don't join this bank, don't join it, please. Stay with us, stay with America. Fifty countries refused, including all of our leading allies. The UK, Australia, South Korea, you name it, they signed on to the Beijing-led bank. That means, in the future, when a government gets in trouble and needs money, they go to China for the money. They want to fund a big new project, they go to China to fund it, which gives China the power to dictate how that loan money will be spent and what kind of project gets funded. It's huge. A I mean, huge this shift. is a huge, huge shift. And you could make the parallel to what's happening in the world on defense issues as well, yeah. that we're becoming more and more isolated. And you have, you know, new alliances that are growing between places like Egypt and Israel and France and, and Russia in, in some cases as well. So you've got it now happening on the economic front in this yes. way. What did we do wrong? that these countries no longer rely on us. President Obama could not get Congress to agree on changes within the IMF and the World Bank. We wanted to give China a little bit more power within that bank. Congress, they couldn't negotiate a deal, so it ended up on the cutting room floor, so to speak. Also, environmentalists wanted to have their say in all the projects that the World Bank and the IMF funded. And they often got in the way. They couldn't get funding because of the greenies in America. China is not going to have any problem with that. China has no such compunction over these things. They'll build uh, it. China ends up looking like the, the market capitalist uh, uh, in this story. At, They're willing to, to build yes, this infrastructure. They and They're not going to wait for the unions or the environmentalists. In the Financial Times this morning, China cannot believe its luck over the new investment bank. We've given it to them. And Israel just signed up as a member. Just signed up. Just like that. Make it up. Stuart, thank you.